Come on, man. I know you're in a hurry, but you got to keep it between the ditches. Come on. All right, let's get back and get ready for another great episode of The Trucker's Table. hoping he'll do his business and come on <laughs> get out of these daggum cicadas Woo. But yeah we uh we're in desperate need of a shade so we uh as soon as he gets done take care of business hurry up that that <laughs> and uh triple t got buzzed by a cicada uh, oh damn is that one damn bugs <laughs> Man, this is crazy, ain't it? What they say it happens every 17 years? Shit. Oh, you can't. Oh, man. They got that whole pole covered up. I'm at that tree. Check this out. Hold on. Look at that. They're all over that tree. Look at all them cicadas on that tree. That's crazy. Are they hungry? <laughs> you see them idiots on CNN eating these damn things? I ain't eating no bugs, man. Actually, I'm yeah. less scared of this. <laughs> okay. Oh, the crunch. Mm. Do I have a wing hanging out of my mouth? Mm. Oh, it's mm. literally in there. <laughs> it's not a wing, it's a, it's a leg. <laughs> hey, that's actually quite delicious. Mm. What does it remind you of? I'll grow, grow me some vegetables. Go out, skim me a buck, kill a deer, run a trout line. I'll do something. I damn sure won't be eating no damn bugs. Ooh, that's bad. Yeah, I just noticed that. Had to look over and notice it. Ooh, that's bad. If you went over and just started moving the limbs around, they're all up in the limbs, all up in there, all the way out here to the end of the limbs and stuff. It wouldn't take much to get them stirred up. So as soon as he gets back in the truck, we're going to go over there and park towards the middle of the parking lot. <laughs> and then I'm going to walk inside and take me a shower. And uh, then we're going to head on over there to where we got a drop and hook. We're only about 135 miles from where we got a drop and hook. So we'll be there in a couple hours after we leave here. Plenty of time. Once we do our drop and hook, we're going to head on down to Bowling Green. And uh, I think one got me in the back of the head. Shit. And... Uh, be ready to load, live load tomorrow morning. Just got the truck washed. Check it out. Looks good, don't it? Come on, that that. Woo, yeah. Got it washed up. Got it looking good. Let's see. We'll flip it around so you can see. Yeah. Nice and clean. Got all the bugs off of it. Yeah. Got it looking good. Even got the chrome shining. On bumper. Look at that. Nice and clean. Hey, come here, boy. Get back over here. Deck. Deck. Look over here. So, yeah, we got her all cleaned up. Looking good. All right, now it's time for me to go get cleaned up and look good. Come on, let's go. 
Well, we have made it to Finland, Ohio. And uh, we gotta go check in. The orange pumpkin finally got done, so now we are gonna go check in. And I've heard that this is like a kiosk kind of place. And uh, so you don't actually talk to a person. <laughs> Everything's automated or automatic or whatever. So we'll see how it goes. I got my bill of lading. I got my driver's license number. My tag number for my big truck. That's what the sign said I needed. Ooh, you better grab that bill, boy. It's going to get gone. <laughs> Ooh, I've had that happen to me before. That's the pool. I guess at least to right here. Yeah, there's somebody. I hope you ain't supposed to switch your truck off. on the dang thing. The sign that I said zero or something like that through 31 and then that one said like 61 through 89. Of course 32. <laughs> so this is the last one on the end. I just dropped it down here. Definitely all right. We'll make it work. I saw where the empties are over here. I saw it last time. empty too so we good to go.
that's been recently inspected. Yeah. Got us a good one, a newer model trailer. Ooh, look at that. Look how far the landing gears up off the ground after I backed under it. <laughs> when I backed under it, I had to slide my, or I lowered my fifth wheel, dropped the airbags, uh, and uh, make sure I could get up under it. Ooh. Yeah, I saw this one when we went by. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that looks good. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. How about this side? Mud flaps, everything looks good. Woo. Yeah, I don't see no problems. Woo. Let's grab this thing and get going. We got to get up to Bowling Green. Get ready for our pickup in the morning. Yeah, we'll have this trailer. I want to say it's a live unload in Jacksonville. Our next load will probably be a live load after that. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Y'all don't go nowhere. We fixing to hook this baby up and get going. So y'all stay right there. Don't go nowhere. We got our trailer picked up. We ready to head on up to Bowling Green. Oh, hi yo. Yep, we're gonna head on up to Bowling Green, spend the night up there, be ready to get loaded first thing in the morning. All right, let's go. Oh yeah, Dubman, he's happy, 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 happy. Got him plenty of grass. Look at all that grass. Way out under. Oh, I heard a dog bark. <laughs> yeah, all this grass. Plenty of room for the duck man to run around and play. Yeah, we uh, parked behind a uh, Dollar Tree. And uh, we can't pick up till 10 a.m. So I'm letting him run around a little bit, get it out of his system so he'll be ready to sleep. Cause once we get loaded, where we're picking up at is a chemical place and he's not gonna be able to get out of the truck. So once we get loaded and we leave, we're not gonna stop again till we're done for the day. We'll probably drive about eight hours, close to eight hours. Planning on stopping at the Flying J just inside North Carolina on I-77 and uh, shutting it down there. Oh, I see him playing. Look at it. Look at it. He's having fun. <laughs> do it, do it, do it, buddy. I think he heard that bark. <laughs> but uh, there you go. Do it some more. Do it some more, buddy. <laughs> Come on. Go sit down. Come on. Come on, Charlie. Take that. You got to charge. He's like, no, I'm too tired. <laughs> but yeah, we'll try to make it there. Uh, tonight, get up early, early, early. Shoot on down to Jacksonville, see if we can't get through Charlotte. Come on, Dad. 
right there. All right, let's get out of here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Where we at, Dad? So we in Whistleville, Dad. So we in Whistleville. <laughs> go run around and play. Yeah, go down there and talk to that dude in the land star truck. Yeah. Let's see if he gets it on the first try. Woo, he's getting close over at that red truck on the other side. Woo, I hope he's paying attention. That blue truck there behind him. Woo. That's a tight spot to back into. I think I'd rather pay the money and come up here than park. You're on the op, bud. You got that big money. <laughs> Looks like Ducky done made him a friend. Come here, boy. Leave him alone. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Say bye, mister. Talk to you next time. <laughs> Yeah, they fill up fast down there in the pit. I call it the pit. Because it's way down dark. I tell you what, there's the big T8 sign. Cell phone tower, Wi-Fi tower, stuff, whatever it is. Yeah, we just got an ultimate PM done on the truck. And I had them also check the front brakes because I've been getting a little squealing in the front brakes. And, uh, we just put new brake drums and brake shoes on there. That damn thing shouldn't be squealing and chattering and stuff. But, uh, yeah. I think we'll go break out the drone and do a little flight before it gets dark. What you say? Let's do it, Dad. Dad. Come on. Do it. I honestly don't know what he was thinking. <laughs> I just don't see how you could possibly think you could get this in there at that angle. Um because of the uh the tra tractor swing uh trying to swing your tractor around you see the blue truck up there between the two red trucks at the top there's just no way you're going to clear that truck and get around the, where you need to be your tractor would need to be between the red and blue truck up there to have any shot at getting it in there so but anyway he figured that out Woo! it is a hot hot day <laughs> in savannah georgia yeah we're right down here off the river um close to the port uh to get out we got to go back up i want to say it's 21. it takes us right by the pilot out there port wentworth uh exit 109 and uh we're gonna axle out now i just talked with that fella <laughs> and i said uh is this pallets of uh something barrels or something or what is this and he goes, no, it's those totes. And I was like, oh, okay. 12 of them? He goes, yep, 12. I said, okay. Because normally 12 totes, you would think, uh, maybe 36,000 pounds at the most. They're telling me, the, the agent, is 42,000. So that means each one of those totes has to be at least 3,500 pounds. So... I'm, I can't remember hauling totes that weighed that much. So I asked him, I said, can you space those out so I'm not overdoing it on the nose up there? Oh, yeah, yeah, I got you. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Woo, this is why I wish I had a pallet jack, because if he loads them wrong, I can always take a pallet jack and move them, you know. But uh, that's the thing about having a company trailer can't really carry a pallet jack around with you especially like that load i'm gonna be picking up tomorrow in uh dillon south carolina that harbor freight that's a uh, dropping hook and the trailer's gonna be sealed so it ain't like i can put the pallet jack in there whoa, whoa, whoa we're rocking <laughs> oh yeah he's loading us up 
I uh, left a little bit of a gap so he could pop that dot plate out. I probably should have, while he was going to get his stuff, or go get ready to load it, after he popped it out, I should have went ahead and back, back up to the thing a little bit tighter. And uh, I'll probably do that when he gets done uh, so I can uh, get those chop blocks out. Because what I did, I leave about that much of a gap between the tire and the chop block. So it, I've told y'all about this before. Because when the trailer gets heavier and heavier, that tire pushes forward a little bit. And it, it, if you put the chop block right up against the tire, you'll have so much pressure on that chop block, you won't be able to get it out from under there. So I always leave a little bit of a gap to make up for it being empty versus loaded. So anyway, so I'll back it up. I'll be able to get the chalk out. But, oh, damn. <laughs> he, ain't, he ain't playing around, is it? But, uh, yeah. So that's the plan. We get up there. Here's the thing, man. I need to put in that address right now while I'm thinking about it. Um, we are going to try to deliver today. We tried to pick up yesterday, a day early, but they didn't have the load ready here. So we had to um, spend a night over there at the, uh, the old raggedy pilot over at Port Wentworth. That place is nasty. I, I don't like that place. If I'd had enough time, I could have probably found somewhere to park somewhere, you know. But nowadays, man, you don't know when the police is going to roll up on you and say, you know, you can't park here, you know. And um, also, nowadays, people are acting crazy. Phone call from the agent. <laughs> Hello? Oh, yes, ma'am. They're loading me right now. I'm at the dock. I checked in at 1130. Thank you, ma'am. See, always be nice, polite. Ma'am, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am, this. So, um, anyway. Uh, but uh, also right now, in today's time, you have to worry about getting shot. <laughs> and when I say getting shot, I don't mean them looking you in the face or them shooting you in the back or... I mean, laying back there in the bed and somebody driving by and riddling bullet holes in the side of my truck. Uh, so, it's got to the point where I just soon, you know, try to stay either somewhere I know it's safe or somewhere where it's secluded enough I don't have to worry about nobody coming out there, you know. But downtown, anywhere down around downtown Savannah, some of these better neighborhoods around here over by the port, I just didn't want to take the chance. And um, so that's why I just went ahead and stayed there and uh, went ahead and paid for a parking spot. They don't have a lot of grass over there at all, but um, I got as close to what they had as I could. And um, I paid for it, you know, online and everything. And I thought they had all my information in there. And um, I was, man, about 6.30, 7 o'clock, I was, I, I was snoozing. And I heard, bam, 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 on the door. And I was like, what? I paid already. And she's holding the clipboard. I'm like, you don't see me on your clipboard? Because I, I paid like over two or three hours ago. Is that your truck number? And I'm like, yeah. And she's, it's on my truck. <laughs> so she goes, no, it's not on here. So I said, all right, hold on. I got the email and gave her the reservation number. And then I just take the reservation number up here in the window. And uh, I went back and looked at the email. And the email, all it had was my phone number, my name, and my reservation number. It didn't even have the description of my truck or nothing. And I even put down in the comment section the trucker's table so they could see the side of my truck. They see the comments, the trucker's table, they know it's me. Uh, just in case they didn't figure it out. So, but I just, I don't know. <laughs> so after I did that, they didn't bother me no more the rest of the night. Man, I got a lot of good sleep, man. Woo, I slept good. I went back to sleep again and slept till I got up last night and talked to Teresa. And, uh, 
and I got up early this morning, about five o'clock, let Duckman run around, play some, just get something to get a little daylight. Got back in the truck and I was like, <laughs> got, to get, got a little bit more sleep and uh, got up around uh, 8.30 or so and uh, started getting woke up, getting everything put away in the sleeper and making me some coffee and some breakfast and everything. So I was thinking about if I knew I could, I think what I'm gonna do is before I leave, uh, you can't see it. Maybe you can't. Hold on. Let me see if I can flip this around. Uh, there we go. Uh, so there's all that grass right over there. So what I'm thinking is pull up over there and back back up over here and slide my tandems, do everything I need to do. And while I'm sliding my tandems, doing all that, we'll let the duck man run around over a little bit of grass. See? Yeah, there's even a light pole over there. He likes light poles. <laughs> That's what we'll do. But for y'all that are wondering what we're hauling, I see if I can get it panned around here. Uh, you look right down there. You see those? Most y'all know what I'm talking about when I say totes. That's those big totes with the with the cage around them. That's what we're hauling. So that's what we'll do. We'll let him run around over there a little bit. He might be done already. The truck ain't been shaking in a minute or two. Uh, he says he's gonna bring the paperwork out to me. And I have in my pocket my trusty Landstar pen. <laughs> so, oh, there you go. One more. One more for good luck. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I've already mapped it out uh, where we're going to. And, um, well, this ain't it. <laughs> um, and I think it's about 190 miles, maybe. And, uh, oh. huh, oh, I see what it is. <laughs> well, for some reason, Ray McNally knows right where I'm going, but Google Maps doesn't. So. see here. Yep, there it is. Route it out. We'll see how far we got to go. Oh, yeah, there we are. 189 miles, three hours and two minutes. So, so it gives you some options on which route you want to take and stuff. And, uh, a lot of y'all know this already. But you get an idea of where we're at looking at the map. See, we're down here where the blue dot is at the bottom. We're trying to get to the red pin at the top. So it's not that far. And uh, hopefully we can get there and uh, get unloaded today. Because it says that they receive until 5 o'clock. Um, so we'll see. We'll get on up there and see if they'll unload us today. And uh, if they will, that'd be great. If they won't... Let me look and see. There may be somewhere we can park right there. But, uh, yeah, we're going to definitely go up there and either we can go ahead and check in today. And uh, if we can't get loaded today, then we can uh, unload it. Then we can uh, be there ready to get unloaded first thing in the morning. Here he comes. All right, we'll talk to y'all in a little bit. I must be living right. <laughs> As I say, I must be living right. Things are going my way. All right, the luck of the Irish, only I'm not Irish. <laughs> so we're here at Captain Supply, uh, that's Harbor Freight, uh, up in Dillon, pushing to our dropping hook a day early. We got unloaded up in Bethune a day early. <laughs> so this worked out great, man. This worked out great. I couldn't plan it no better. Uh, so we're going to do our dropping hook. Uh, I don't think we're going to have the hours to get home, but we're going to get that gum close. I'll tell you that. We'll be in there uh, bright and early tomorrow morning, if not late tonight. So uh, I get to spend all day tomorrow at the house. I'm looking forward to it. So let's get this thing unhooked and let's get out of here. What you say? Well, we 
made it. <laughs> we are parked in Baldwin, Florida at the TA. Reserved us a spot. <laughs> we were way up in Georgia. I reserved a spot. I was like, man, it might have been South Carolina. Anyway, I said, I'm gonna go ahead and reserve that spot because there ain't gonna be none when I get there. And uh, when I went online to reserve it, there was four spots left and I got one of them. And I checked it when I just got here. There ain't none left now. And uh, Mr. Furry is out here running around. Let me see if I can him. Whoa. <laughs> Block the light a little bit. There we go. But uh, yeah. Um, whew. We, did, we were about an hour, yeah, a little over an hour short on time. I think actually probably a little bit more than that, but from here to the house is about uh, two and a half hours. And so we're probably about close to two hours short on time. So it is what it is. We'll do our 10 hour break here and then we'll get up uh, in the morning and uh, get ready to head on over to head on over to the house. We'll leave here around 9.30, and we should be at the house by noon. And uh, we'll spend the rest of the day Thursday at the house, Thursday night at the house, get up early, early Friday morning, run up to Bainbridge, deliver our load, come back to the house, and we're done. Vacation, baby. <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't wait. Um, yeah. We're uh, leaving out Sunday morning, head to uh, Kentucky Lake, and we won't be back until the following Sunday. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're taking the puppy dogs with us. Uh, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna try to get some video and, uh, and everything if I can. Taking my drone, we're gonna be getting some drone footage and stuff like that, so it's gonna be fun. So, anyway, we're going to call it right now. We're going to bed. That man's out there running around. Uh, I'm going to give out. <laughs> we picked up and delivered the same day. There he is. Did, did. did you go take care of business? Huh? Did you go take care of business? Why are you up here if you're, if you're already taking care of business? <laughs> All right. We'll talk to y'all later. Don't go nowhere. Woo, boy. <laughs> AC. We're in the Florida heat, baby. Got to cool down. Mr. Ferry Bridges over here jumping around like he got hot coals in his britches or something. <laughs> he jumping up and down. She did, dude. Oh, no. Yeah, he's jumping up and down like, man, I'm ready to go, Dad. I'm ready to get on and see Mom. <laughs> yeah, we're on the driveway here, headed up to the house. And uh, we got unloaded a day early. I couldn't believe it. I was going to shoot a clip while we were up there in Bainbridge getting unloaded there at the new tractor supply. And I was just, I had my mind focused on some other stuff I was trying to get done. And uh, I, I wasn't able to, to uh, I, I forgot all about it. So we're at the driveway now. We're done. We're going on vacation. Vacation, da da. Yeah. Yeah. Vacation. So I'm excited. I can't wait. Uh, we're going to enjoy ourselves. Won't be doing any. Well, we might do, be doing some videoing for our personal use and out maybe some for uh, YouTube. And um, so if you don't hear from me for a couple weeks, don't be afraid. Don't worry. I'm just taking a vacation. <laughs> so for me and the duck man, you want to get up here? Come on. Say for me and the duck man. Say, oh yeah, Dad. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Say, <laughs> so we're going on vacation. We're so excited. Thank y'all so much for liking, <laughs> subscribing, and hitting that little bell so you'll be notified every time we upload a video. And leave me a comment down below if you want to. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you all so much. Stay safe. Enjoy your time off when you have it. I know I am. And we'll talk to y'all again soon. Take care, and don't forget, no matter, even if you're on vacation, you don't stop. You keep punching.